OK, let's take a look at this guy. Um, notice here, this thing is, is at the lowest level, but it's moving, right? OK, um, so I think all we have here is we've got kinetic energy. We've got 1 half mv squared, OK? Now, when it's at the top, it'll be up here. And presumably, it's supposed to be moving. Now, I mean, it's possible this hill is too high for it. But I don't think it is, OK? Because we figured out that if it just rolled down the hill, it would be going 6.49. This thing's going a bit faster, so it's going to be going. It's going to actually be moving at the top, right? OK, so at the top here, I feel like it's got well, it's got potential energy because it's lower than the lowest point. And I think it has kinetic energy because, well, it could have kinetic energy, right? And it's asking us for what's the speed, right? So, so that's a clue that, that um, it's got kinetic energy, right? OK, so um, notice that I can divide every uh, term here by mass. So the mass goes away. The only time it doesn't is if you've got a spring or some, if you've got fs or 1 half kx squared then the mass won't cancel out. But these guys it will cancel out. I call these roller coaster problems. OK, so I'm going to go 1 half 8.7 squared turns into 9.81 times 2.15 plus 1 half b squared. So my, my strategy here is I'm going to go 0.5 times 8.7 squared. That's like 37.845. And I'm going to subtract this term. So minus 9.81 times 2.15. So now I've got 16.7535. And that's 1 half v squared. And then I'm going to multiply that by 2. And that'll be v. And I'm going to square root that. And I get that uh, v is equal to 5.788 meters per second, or about 5.79. Ta-da!